Alright, so in this video I'm going to be importing the uh, spaceship from Blender into Unity. I might even uh, add some particle effects to it in this video. So I have... So... Well... Hopefully it doesn't show it in the video and I look like a fool, but it looks like Blender decided to... I guess crash. All I'm seeing is a black screen. Um... I'll go over to Task Manager here. It says it's still responding. I think I saved recently, so I'm just going to end it. Alright. And Blender. Alright, so. There we go. I think I need to re import some of the things, though. Let's see here. Textures. Refresh. Or maybe it's just the light that's messed up. Alright, move it. Yeah. Alright, so. Grab the model. File. Uh, export as Autodesk FBX. Um, I'm going to hop over to my uh, culminating project folder. Uh, don't want those levels. I'll, I'll just put it in the base folder. Uh, forward I want to be I think I wanted uh, no forward I want to be Y and up I want to be no up it yeah up is Y forward is Z Y is up Y is up Z is forward alright um, yeah, apply modifiers. Include animation. No, I don't have any animations. And I misspelled spaceship. That is fascinating. Spaceship, and I don't want it to be two. I just want it to be spaceship. Alright, so export FBX. I'll tab back into Unity. No, that's Cam Studio. Alright, so hopefully it brought it over alright. Let's see here. Models. Spaceship. Go ahead and set the scale factor to 1. Um, let's calculate normals. Don't import uh, animations. Apply. Alright, so if I drag it into the scene, there we go, and it has no texture. So, um, let's render, let's hop over to the material here, set the texture to be, where is that? This is it. Yes, but I need a directional light in the scene. Game object create other directional light. Seems kind of dark. Uh, well, now I'm used to Blender's controls. Alright, so rotate that around. A bit better. Maybe I should brighten it up a little bit. See if I just blast it. That looks kind of cool. Well, let's see how it compares to the uh, other model if I bring in the player prefab. Just to see how it looks. Yeah, I definitely need to increase the brightness on the texture. If I quit alt tabbing to Cam Studio. No, I don't want Visual Studio either. There we go. Um, so I'm just going to add a new layer to the whole thing. A new adjustment layer. If I can deselect, there we go. Brightness, contrast. Um, I want to delink it from everything. Increase the brightness a little bit. Alright, that looks better. Control alt shift s Save. 
Save. Please. Alt tab. No. Alt tab into Unity. Reset that to 0.5 so I can actually see when it is looking right. And I might actually need to. I believe that texture came over automatically when I exported the model. So I'll need to import a. Well, it needs to be in a different folder. Import a new UV texture. Uh, import new asset. And that's in my textures library, I believe. Uh, spaceship. Alright, now we get the material that's on that. Select. Spaceship. There we go. Much brighter. Alright, so. Now I'm going to add some uh, a particle effect to make it look like this engine is actually doing something. I'm not too familiar with the new particle engine that they added in Unity 3.5. So, create new particle system. I've got this weird cone shape that it decides to start out with. Um, I'm going to go ahead and parent it to the spaceship. And while I'm at it, I might as well delete the camera that came along with that as well as the light particle system, rename that to engine particles. Uh, let's see here, set it's transformed to zero, zero, zero. Slide it back. Rotate it. And we're done. No, just kidding. Um, so, open the particle editor, drag it over from my other monitor here, shrink it down so that I can see what I'm doing. Alright, so, yeah, I'm kind of lost with this new thing that they have, where's, uh, see, start, and I don't want energy to be that long, set that to 1. Um, render. Change that material. See if I have one that'll work as is. Well, I guess I'll stick with that for now. It doesn't look too good, but excuse me. I don't want it to cast or receive, receive shadows. Uh, shape of matter. Yeah, I'm fine with the cone. Though I want to decrease. I think I can adjust that in here. Yeah. All right. I think I adjust the end color in the start color, funnily enough. Um, is it gradient? Nice new gradient editor that they have. Alpha to zero. No, that's over the duration of the thing, so I'm going to set that back to a color. Maybe it's under that funky little plus thing that they have. Um, color over lifetime, there we go. They have that as like a new module or whatever that you add onto it. So gradient. Now decrease it. Alright, there we go. So now the flames are fading out the farther they get away from the model. Um, I haven't tried anything with the sub emitters thing that they added. Let's see if that might help me here because I want to add some smoke. I mean, I know there's going to be no smoke in space, I think. Um, but we'll see. Um, oh. So it looks like that might do it every single time a particle is spawned or every time it collides, and I don't want that. So I'll just go ahead and create a, another um, particle emitter. Engine smoke. And I'll change the material. Let's 
See if I already have one set up that'll work. I want them to be at a random angle because right now it's looking way too uniform. Um, emission? No. Uh, start rotation. Random between two curves. I think that's doing it. Seems to be at least. Um, see, I also want it to grow as it fades out. So I think I need to add that as a new thing. Um, size over lifetime. And if you'll pardon me for a second. Alright, and I'm back. Um, so where was I? Oh, yeah, I was making the uh, smoke. Um, yeah, the size over time. So, well, I guess I drag this down. Oh, can't go below zero. I knew that. Um, is there any way I can like multiply that, or do I just drag this up? Uh, maybe I change this. Yeah, and I actually want all of the particles to actually move upwards again. I know in space that's not going to probably be the actual case, but oh well. I'm doing it because I feel like it, but I don't know how to do that with the new particle system. Um, I guess force over lifetime. Increase Y. Oh, I have it upside down, so I need to... decent and see what they look like both together. Why can I not see them together? Uh, let's see here, where's the camera? Move it back. Game view. That looks terrible. Um, <laughs> so let's see here, let's get a good camera orientation and align the camera to my view. Play. It still looks terrible. I think I need to increase the number by the, uh, the actual flames and add random rotation to that. So start rotation, random between two curves. There we go. Um, also, I'd like to increase the speed a little bit and definitely decrease the amount of time that they're staying alive. And how do I emit more? There we go. Hmm. Alright, see how it looks with the smoke. Well, it's just going to be more of me tweaking. Uh, I'm sort of fine with how that looks. You're not going to really be getting a shot like this during actual gameplay. It's going to be more from the front. And, well, I guess I'll end the video there. Thank you for watching.